These boys should be in school, but instead they earn a few extra rupees, working at these local car repair shops. For nine-year-old Yeshwa, says he wants to help his family. I want to go to school, but what can we do? My parents can't afford my school fee. I work here at this other workshop to earn money for the family. His employees say he's aware of the fact that these children are being deprived of an education, but he says as well as making money, they're learning useful skills. A majority of parents can't afford to send their kids to school now. Families need extra hands to help with the expenses, so they send their kids to work. But they also get trained here, which might help them secure a livelihood later. Although past governments have promised to ensure that every child is entitled to free schooling, they've been unable to encourage poor parents to send their children to school. Here in Pakistan, education is viewed as a basic right, but more than 22 million children are out of school, and that number is likely to increase. Pakistan spends a small fraction, less than 3% of its total budget on education. Some say that is not enough to cater to the needs of an expanding population. More than uh, 20 million children are out of schools in Pakistan. And this is a point of concern for our present government. And the main reason is the population overgrowth, one of the highest in the South Asia. The second is the lack of resources. We don't have that much resources to establish schools every year. Critics say if the new government led by Imran Khan is serious about getting more children to attend school, it needs to match its words with action. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Islamabad.